I see you typing. But I can't hear you. Thank you. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Like he said, that he's not going to work section, but he's going to do the next. Yes. Okay. We're good. Whenever you are, we're live. All right. It's five o'clock, and we're going to go ahead and open up the workstation. Uh, let's see, we have all board members that counted for, um, except for Mr. Ryan Jackson, but all of the board members are present. So I'm going to go ahead and move to number two, which is um, finance department. Um, does anybody have any discussion or any comments there? Okay. 
we will move to number three, which is personnel. Does anybody have any comments, discussion? Okay. Uh, we'll move to the consent agenda. Does anyone have any comments or questions there? Okay, number five is a letter from Verbena. Mr. Griffin, I'm assuming you have that. Oh. It's on the. Yes, on the page. Let me pull it real quick. Uh, this this was sent in regards to their te teaching unit allocations. Uh, and so I will read it to you and then we can summarize it. Uh, and this is from Ms. Tammy Hand, principal from Bena High School. It says, as you're aware, state units are based on the average daily membership of the first 20 days of the school year. While our enrollment numbers have decreased at the beginning of 2019, they have since increased. Our school lost 3.84 units this year, which means four grade levels will have to merge. Our staff and student body have worked diligently to improve our state report card. Without additional units, our classrooms will suffer from overcrowding and our progress will be in great jeopardy. Please consider additional funding for our school and help us continue to reach our goal. And then she's got attached the uh, enrollment numbers from last year to this year. And as you can see from that, uh, they did decrease. Um, and they lost those units, but her numbers have since come up from the last 20 days from last year. And so she wants us to consider at some point um, those those numbers. So, and this was discussed pre-coronavirus. So this was gonna this was gonna happen regardless of the crisis. So, any comments, questions? What are the numbers? Uh, or did she get that? We do. It's um let's see. So the first 20 days for last year were 541.35. And then based on what their numbers are now, she anticipates 555. So but that those allocations are based off those numbers from last year. So she did lose 3.85 teaching units. Count three point eight four. I'm sorry, 2.84. There's money that should come from the state for that purpose because I mean that happens. Yep. All the time. Yep. So we sh we should. If that's the case. We should. Yep. Same, same situation we've had maybe so last year, some class size production units. Um, and they, Mr. Moore's correct, it happens all the time. So, but losing 3.84, it's, 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 it's significant in a school that size. Yes, it is. So, and anyway, she wanted you to be aware of it, I did too, just so that you'll know that moving forward. So, anybody have any questions or comments? Okay. Um, does anybody have anything else as far as the work session? Mr. Smith, Ms. Sullivan, do, do either of you have anything? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Well, if no one has anything, then we'll move number six, which is to adjourn. And we will return back at six o'clock for our um, public board meeting. Okay.